G'day everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure. There is a smattering of broken shells over here but I think I've just spotted something nice. The first shell find today is this guy. A little flat sand snail. Very cute, just a white one. Well, there wasn't much unbroken on the rack lines. I've just gotten out into the rock pool. Look at this one hiding. Oh, it's hole. It's hole in the bottom. Yes, it is hole in the bottom. Oh my goodness. Got myself a cute little donkey cowrie. Oh boy, I like that. Oh, he's a nice little mini in the rock pools. Yeah. Oh, his pattern's really pretty. Here's the yellow dove shell. Oh, it maybe looks like there's a couple of nice crowned cones down here. Number one, yeah, he's a nice empty one. Got myself a grey coloured crowned cone and possibly even nicer. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, that's a very nice pattern on this crowned cone. Yes, it is empty. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's a lot over here. Look. Oh, he's also very pretty. Oh, my goodness. And there's another one. Oh, my. Oh, look. There's a worm cone. Oh, oh, yep, wow, he's a very old looking worm cone actually, he's got like some pitting with age on him, but yeah, got four lovely crowned cones too. Oh, this little guy stuck in the stream, are you alive? Oh, he's an empty one. Oh, oh, he is very, very nice, oh my, look at that, he's got a bit of a hole in the side of him, I wonder if something tried to eat him. <laughs> Oh, poor guy. I'm sorry, I didn't actually say what it is. It is a lovely ring top cowrie, also called the gold ring cowrie because of that lovely ring on its top. This is the deep hole of deep things. It's covered with a lot of sand. Look at that one peeking out at us. Is that a, is that a rock shell, AKA a rock? Or is that an Arabian? It is like, my goodness, how much can I like half butt this and not have to bend down so much? Oh my God. Oh, it's up to my elbow. Oh, we're gonna have to rethink that one. Oh, 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 it's so cold. Oh, it's so cold. Okay, we're going for it. Oh, this is nearly up to everything. I'm gonna have to go under for this one, I think. Please, actually, wait, why can't I just like use my foot? Hello, sir. Oh, it is an Arabian. Are you kidding me? My goodness, I should be able to get this one. Oh, yes. Wow, look at that, everyone. Oh my goodness, the base on that is so dark. It's so nice. Oh my goodness, look, he's got like a slightly discolored spot right there. Oh, he's so cool. He's also eating the teeth of an eroded cowrie. It's like teeth on teeth action. I don't know how to feel about that. It's a lovely dark one too. Oh my goodness, I hope he dries shiny. I'm not sure he doesn't quite feel like wet glass, but he feels pretty good, so I'm hopeful. Okay, I just found that Arabian here. I was walking around and saw that. I'm like, oh, did I drop that out of my pocket? Like, no, that's a different one. <gasps> are you alive? You are? Oh, it is alive. Look at him. He is a live Arabian cowrie. Also, he was in sand. That is not a good place for an Arabian to sit because they can actually suffocate in sand. Oh my goodness, I might put him back somewhere where that's a bit more... um protected perhaps all righty he's got like a little snail hitchhiker on the top Ooh, i'm sorry snail hitchhiker yeah it's not too sandy here yet he'll be fine well it's time to check the other side of the lighthouse and let's start things off with a lovely black nerite all righty hopefully i find some stuff here because uh there's actually a lot of sh uh, sand washed up into the rock pools today there we go i see a little flat sand snail down there what color are you on top it's a, oh, it's a yellow one this time. I'm sorry, can I please pick you up? There we go. Got myself a, oh, he's nice. Got myself a beautiful yellow flat sand snail. Wow, he's actually got these really cool like growth lines through him. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I see a couple of Spangler's trumpets. Let's see if they're alive or not. This one looks empty. Yeah, that's an empty Spangler's trumpet. Wonderful. And this one over here. Ooh, let's grab it up this guy uh, he's empty as well how about that he looks like he's maybe a juvenile one got like more of an adult one and more of a juvenile one erosa how do you look you got a nice spot on the side of you oh yeah oh yeah he's a pretty nice eroded cowrie look at this guy i feel like i haven't found a nice erosa in so long so yep that's a keeper oh, my goodness 
my goodness I just noticed that peeking out there let's take a look oh like the like that mother nature itself just placed it like that oh he's so cute he's even got the tip it's a little juvenile zebra volute oh he's so adorable oh my goodness oh now that looks like a nice Spangler's trumpet let's take a look at you yes yes he is empty oh my i found a few spangler's trumpets today already but none of them actually looked uh nice and fresh like this one so yeah that's definitely a keeper oh that's a nice little bivalve also i'm very sorry if you can hear any of that wind noise everyone wow it's got like stripes of oxidized like oxidization on it where uh where it was maybe in a part of the ocean where some of the minerals affected it um i technically know the name of this one because someone told me i don't remember off the top of my head but wow that's a nice seashell oh hey look at that one yeah wow it is very old but it is a grape cowrie yeah lovely ribbing on the bottom couple of stipples on the top of it although they're mostly worn away mostly faded but yeah pretty cool oh might just pick up that one yeah yeah it's a slit worm shell even though it's called a worm shell it is made by a snail it's all like sweet and swirly wow there is actually a decent smattering of like broken shells and minis up here so i'm just gonna look through them i think someone else might have already looked through them too but they didn't want this big acorn barnacle that i just spotted and uh this guy yeah is a lovely little spangler's trumpet yes he's empty okay i'll take those two. Oh, oh let's take a look at that one yeah it looks like a little uh conical moon snail right there Alrighty, there's some goodies to find that aren't broken in this semi-broken shell mess. Mm, I'm not sure how long I'm going to sit here looking for minis, but anyway, got myself a little pyramid periwinkle. Isn't he adorable? Ooh, look at that, another little flat sand snail. <gasps> Ooh, his color is nice. Wow, he's like a, a caramelly color, like right between the, uh, the yellow and the brown ones I find. Oh, he's nice. I don't think I have one that's specifically this color. Ooh, might take this one as well and I oh yeah there's another one over here got myself a pair of constricted top shells they're very cool looking they're also the hermit crab's best friends and for anyone wondering what the red stuff in the shell piles is it's actually coral let me pick up some there we go I picked up a whole bunch of this when I first started because I'm like oh this is super cool and then I just kind of like my brain stopped seeing it <laughs> Anyway, there is some lovely red coral here from our healthy coral reefs around Queensland. Oh, he possibly looks shiny. Yeah, I think he looks nice. Got myself a little blue cowrie right here. He can go along with my other cowrie that looks very similar but is not. It's the graceful cowrie. I don't know why my voice got like that, everyone. I'm sorry, it's very early in the morning still. Oh, look at him. He's a cutie. Oh my goodness, he's very worn away. He's all blue on top instead of green like he should be. But he's a lovely little wandering cowrie. I don't actually find all that many of them, so I really like wandering cowries. Anyway, he can go with my little handful of off-screen mini finds. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Oh, Stretch, this guy looks whole. You know, he is whole. Okay, he's missing like the tiniest bit of his tip, but I don't care. Look at how adorable this droop shell is. I'm pretty sure this is the uh, porcupine droop, I think was its name. Not 100% sure. It's just a very unusual one that I don't often see here. There's been a lot of these brown sea hares around lately. They're, uh, they're little and they're different than the giant big green ones we usually get. But uh, yeah, super cool little guys. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'll touch him. Ah, squishy. Ah, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I don't think you like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is a very shiny boy. Are you? Oh, Whoa, he's empty, everyone. Okay, so I've actually like seen like a dozen shiny snakeheads today and they've all been alive and fooled me. My goodness, that is a very fresh guy. He doesn't even have a predator hole in him. I wonder if he got like, there's a lot of sand washing up in the rock pools right now. I wonder if he just got covered and couldn't get out. Anyway, nice. Oh my goodness, I gotta say, I'm not finding much on this side of the beach. Anyway, did just spot this one. He is a lovely piece of lace coral. Oh, he looks nice. Like, he looks very shiny and nice. He is a lovely blue cowrie. Uh, the English name for this one is the yellow-toothed cowrie. Oh, don't drop it. Yep, he's a good one. My goodness, look at him. 
Wow. So I find very large Australian jingle shells up in Harvey Bay that are like the size of, I don't know, they're, they're big though. This is just a little one and he's orange too. He is very cute. So uh, there's a lot of shells in this little pocket right here. Oh my goodness. And the first time I came through here earlier today, there was another man already looking through here. Ooh, look at that. My goodness, got myself a lovely flat sand snail. And I chatted to the man. Oh, there's a nice scallop here too. Look at that. <laughs> and the man said that uh, he was mostly focusing on finding the cowries. So I've come back like an hour later now just to see if there's any goodies that aren't cowries. So uh, yeah, let's just take a li little look before we finish up. Oh, I just uncovered that. That's kind of cool. It is a sea urchin spine with a lot of its little like bumps and textures on it because a lot of the sea urchin spines I see are kind of like uh, all uh, flattened out and kind of broken and not very interesting, but this guy's cool. I'm just gonna put my, my keeper things up here, I think. Oh, and for anyone who's wondering, this one looks like a good one, actually. These are little mulberry whelks. They're a type of droop shell and they're pretty much everywhere on the rocks around here. But uh, yeah, this one looks like a good one, so I guess I'll take him along with me. Here we go. Those are some of the more interesting finds from this hole and I'll finish it off because I just saw this guy. Look at him. Wow. He's got that lovely orange with speckles on the bottom. He doesn't have much on top. I think he's a very faded Humphreys cowrie. He's very cute on that bottom though. Well, I think we might also take this lovely piece of pink lace coral too. Here we go. Oh my goodness, just about to walk away and that one plops out of the sand. <gasps> Look at him, he's definitely empty. Oh, got myself a little Lamalos Wendell trap. He is very lovely, very pointy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, do I spend longer sifting through the sand again? No, I think I'm happy. That's a pretty good one to, to send me off with. So here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. Well, 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 what a day everyone. It was an early start and it paid off because there are some absolutely beautiful calories here. Lots of great shells actually. Of course, I do want to give some special mentions before we talk about a favourite and of course, if you do have a favourite, please let me know down in the comments. You know, I kind of really like Ooh, the flat sand snail, here we go. He's got a, a yellow swirl up his like, like gray body. It's pretty interesting. I think he's a cute one. Same with this other little guy. He is very shiny, got a lovely caramelly color. Just absolutely beautiful. I found some really great blue calories today. I really like, ooh, they're my bean. My bean went away. Really like this little uh, blue calorie right here. He's just adorable. Really like this crowned cone too. He's just wonderful. Also, ooh, I'm gonna lose my shells if I don't do something. Hold on. <laughs> also, really love this little Wendell trap as well. He is just absolutely fabulous. But uh, but my favorite today, oh my goodness, you know, I think I might have two favorites. Favorite number one is this cute little zebra volute. Oh my goodness, he's just a knobbly little guy, completely adorable really really like this one so yep that is one of my favorites right there and the second favorite you'd think it would be the big arabian actually i might give just give this guy an honorable mention he's perhaps not as glossy as some of the other arabians i found uh earlier in the last month or two but yep still a really nice guy probably not my favorite i actually really like this shiny ring top i think he's absolutely wonderful so yep that one is probably my favorite today and that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.